right, here we are with my mini mill. Uh, I need to make some more of these blocks. And actually I have the ones I'm going to, I just need to make one modification to these. And I need some more of these little pieces. So, as you see here, I still have the stock chuck in there. Um, we're going to take that out by removing the drawbar. Which is underneath the cap up here. This is the stock drawbar. If you want to go to the other tooling, uh, I think it's the MT2. You need a different drawbar. So actually, we need to bang the truck out first. Okay. And we put the other bar on there. This is the one eighth inch collet, which has the MT2. Uh, yeah, yeah. The uh, the taper on it with my one eighth inch end mill. Put that in there and tighten it up. Before it's All right, there we go. Remember what this little tool is for, right? to stick in a hole so you can tighten this up. There we go. I'm going to turn on the, uh, the hobby CNC board. We have these two pieces we need to make the final cut in them, which is on the side. There's two, uh, I need a left and a right, so it's two different G-code programs. Um, I know with this G-code program that I wrote, um, where we have to line up the the bit with the, in relation to the part, you might see these look familiar. They're parallels. I just had to change some configuration in the Turbo CNC because I was playing around with it the other day. So we put our parallels in. So that we can make sure that this is perfectly parallel with the table. I can't put that in the middle. All right. So now I know that this G code program is assuming that it's going to be lined up with this left bottom corner or left closer to you corner, whatever it is. So we're going to hit F8 and um, turbo CNC and move that one over. And I'm just going to eyeball it, basically. Just do it from both directions. line up the two edges with the center and then we just we bring the, the end mill down so it just touches the top of the piece and then I hit alt M which zeroes out all the axes make sure you bring it back up just a little bit just to clear the part so we're good hit escape and then we hit F6 which runs the program um, well, almost runs the program, I have to enter once more. So you're probably not going to hear anything, but we're going to start it up. Now it just told me to change the tool. That's a, uh, it does that automatically when you use Kanban to make the G-code. 
the tool's already in there, so I don't need to change anything. I can just hit enter. start the air. That's one side. Now see if I was smart, I would have done it differently, and I'll show you why. Since I have to do another one of these, I should have referenced I should have referenced the part with an edge so that I could have just thrown the other one in. And I'll do that next. What we're gonna do we just clean the part to make sure that uh, clean the areas to make sure it's not sitting on a, on a on a piece of metal or something. Um, I'm gonna put this one in. We're gonna put this one over here just for uh, spacing so it doesn't cock the the device. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another parallel and just put it up against there. Can't really see that, can you? There we go. I'm just gonna put it up against there and push this to the edge. So now it's referenced the side of here and the, the parallels inside. And then we close it up. Now, next time we move it, which if we take this out, we can put this one in, in exactly the same position. Or the next one rather. So now we have to zero it out again. Center there. And it's just touching the top of the part. Alt M to zero it out. Bring it back up. Escape F6 to run it. Turn on my air. It's just the air keeps the chips out of the way. jig, I guess you can call it. This is the other side, so it needs a different program. Let me load that one up. That's the right side. And we'll do it again. It's all set up already, so. F6 to run. Start. The completed part. Slightly different or opposite sides. Tops are the same. Sides are the same. <laughs> 